Morning. This is Arnie Waters here. How are you doing today? If you're not going to be happy today, what day are you going to be happy exactly? Now, part of our view is that gold is trading down around 1635, 1638. This is structurally so um, because there's been a lot of weakness in the gold market. You will recall that we told you about a month ago that gold was going to trade in a range between like 1590 to 1695 and that the key was to get some trades above 1695 1700 so we encourage the people aside from looking at day trading opportunities to really think very carefully before heading into the gold market uh, we've seen a dramatic reduction in etf and exchange traded products holdings in gold we've seen some buying by speculators on dips but we really haven't seen any strong moves. This is because of the European situation and the United States situation. By that I mean the U.S. economy is showing more and more weakness in, 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 to, it, as a reflection of what's going on in the economy. The so-called recovery has stalled. Now we're also looking out this particular weekend at elections in France and Greece. And as we look at those, we have to realize that uh, it is totally unclear what may be available on Monday uh, in terms of government uh, operations and whether there will be wholesale changes, new ministers of finance and all that kind of thing, and whether people in Greece will continue to accept uh, their, their austerity plans. The other reason people have become so concerned is that uh, the effect of the austerity is having dramatic effects on civil unrest. You saw that in the May Day. Uh, uh, reality, and you will recall a theme of ours over the last few years has been that the European danger really is uh, of civil unrest because of economic stratification, classism, and racism which abound in Europe. When I say they abound in Europe, I don't mean to say that those issues don't exist in the United States, but in the United States there's a uh, a certain understanding and a certain civil dialogue that goes on. Now, there are aberrations in this dialogue which are promptly, pu promptly punished. But, you know, nobody in the United States thinks it's okay to run around and, and shout from the rooftops that one is an anti-Semite or one hates black people. In Europe, that's perfectly okay. We see this in the treatment until very recently, the treatment received by African and South American uh, football players, uh, as they are repeatedly attacked, especially those of darker complexion, uh, for their um, uh, uh, skin color and their, their country of origin. So, in a long-winded way, I'm trying to suggest that, like our view of China, there are serious dangers in the case of the austerity situation in Europe that will lead to political unrest. So. That's part of the reason why gold has been in a weaker state, because people are waiting to see what happens with these elections over the coming weekend. Please check out some of our commentaries uh, on, the, on the morning product today in the rare earth area. It's been a huge development with Molly Corp. So, aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a super day. Thank you so much for watching.